Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. Today's video, I think, is one of my favorite videos that I have done in a while. But if y'all ever went to the thrift store and y'all seen all these beautiful silver pieces, they come in all shapes, sizes, and just different things. And you love them, but you don't know exactly what to do with them. Well, today's video is going to be for you. I'm going to show y'all over 50 ways and ideas of how we can incorporate these silver pieces throughout our home. I'm also going to throw in some DIYs that I feel like will pair really well when we style these silver pieces and just add a little bit more character and detail to them. So I hope y'all enjoy the video today and enjoy seeing all the inspirational ways I'm going to show y'all of how we can use these easily found pieces that we find at the thrift store. Some of these are going to be things that I've created. Some are going to be some that are going to be Pinterest inspired. So I hope y'all enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed making it. So now let's get to it. Let's style some silver. The first piece I'm going to start with is going to be this cute little silver or silver, silver plated cup. Now when I say silver throughout this video, that is not necessarily going to mean it is pure silver. A lot of these items and probably the majority of them are silver plated. But I found it at a thrift store and I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I want to say $1.99. But I'm going to show you a cute way of how you can detail this little silver cup. I'm going to take a round piece of drop cloth that I just cut out in a circle. I filled it with some uh, pillow filler and then I just bunched it up around the bottom using a little ponytail holder. And then I'm going to stick it down in here because what we're going to do is we're going to make a pin cushion. And you can make a pin cushion so easily out of any fabric. I chose drop cloth because y'all know I love using it and I always have it on hand. Now you can style this cute little pin cushion now using some vintage straight pins or you can put a little floral on it and some lace, set it out on a silver tray. Now we've got a great little piece that we can display and it goes so well with the little vintage items that we already have. The next piece I want to show you is going to be this little silver tray. Now I did a project last year and I applied a lemon transfer to it over in the corner. I removed the transfer. You can see a little bit of it left, but I'm okay with that. And I think I paid $2 for this. I went out to the Graphics Fairy website and I downloaded a really pretty vintage girl. Their printables, a lot of them are free. So if you go out to their website, they have a lot to choose from. Now I'm just placing her over the bottom because I'm going to trace around the bottom because I want her to fit in that little circle, center circle on the tray. Now to do that, I traced around the bottom of it. Now I'm going to place it inside just to make sure that I've got the, you know, the right size. I'm going to go around now and I'm going to trim it down using my scissors. And then once I get her trimmed down, she's going to fit in there perfect. And so I don't damage my tray in any way. I'm going to use a good quality glue stick. Now this way, if I change my mind and I want to remove her on down the road, I can and my tray will still, still be intact and I haven't damaged it in any way. Now once I put some um, school glue on the top and the bottom, I'm just going to smooth her out really well and that's all I'm going to do. Another idea I saw on Pinterest that you could use this tray for is you can layer these behind towels and doilies on a rack. Next, I'm going to show you some styling tips and give you some ideas of something that I feel like a lot of us have because these are very um, popular at the thrift store and you may already have some of these in your decor at home. I picked this one up for $1, but it's just a silver plated tray. But just to give you more ideas, you can add some lace to these or a hanger. Hang these on the wall and add vintage pictures to them. You can add vintage postcards. Just decorate it any way you want to. So just another idea for silver plated trays that you may have on hand. 
hang those on the wall, and add a decorative touch to your home. You can also use some solo wood flowers and some vintage items to, you know, display in your home. And I'm going to have a link down below if you're interested in solo wood flowers. You, if you do not have any of these on hand for your projects, I highly recommend these. I have used these on so many projects and they are such great pieces to use in your decor. Some more inspiration of how you can use a tray platter is you can chalk paint the center of it and put a stencil on it. You can make some really pretty embellished magnets and put pictures on it. You can stack them and use even silver candlesticks and make a tiered tray. This right here I thought was a neat idea where you can make little menus and set those out. If you get little coffee and creamer uh, pieces you can hang those using some pretty ribbon and just put some greenery behind it and I think that is so beautiful. You can also make furniture out of these silver trays. This right here is something so simple but so elegant. Another quick styling tip for some silver plated items that you may have on hand and these like I say so along with the trays these pictures are a lot of times you can find these in the thrift store but take your thrifted or, you know, your picture, if you have one on hand, get some Kleenex out of the box. I just grabbed a, I don't know, a section of them, wrap them, roll them around, and have them where when you pull one up, the next one comes up. Stick those down in your picture, and now you've got a great little decor piece that you can style your Kleenex and tissues at home. A little bit more inspiration. If you're into painting your silver pieces, this is a beautiful inspiration picture right here off Pinterest. You can paint it and add some doily embellishments. You can also store your makeup brushes and your cosmetics in your pictures. I come across this bag of silverware at the thrift store the other day for $3. Now, I went through and a lot of this looked like real silver, but I looked a lot of it up and it's silver plated. So I, I was happy with getting all these mini pieces for $3, but this is the what I got in the pack. Now, some of these I don't even recognize. They are some different types of silverware that I'm used to, like this piece right here. You can see the tarnish on it, and you can also see how black this has made my fingers just from handling it. I didn't know what this piece was, so I went out and I did a little research because this little fort right here, I've never seen a fort like this before. So I love doing research on these and just kind of getting a little bit more of an idea of back in the day what a lot of these things were used for. And that was a vintage 1918 sugar spoon. This right here was a vintage it said it was like a pastry dessert fort. So I learned a lot, but I think pieces like this that have such an ornate detail and they have a little bit, you know, of a different character to them. I think they're beautiful sitting out with our other silver pieces. Something else I absolutely love to collect, and I have several pairs of these that were mine is little baby shoes and if you go out on pinterest there is so many inspirational photos and in things that people have come up with on how to use baby shoes i love going out there and seeing all the different ways but i'm just going to do my little pin cushion in one that i had just giving you some idea take a little pin cushion that we made in the previous project and now i'm going to make a little scrappy bow and i'm just going to make it to embellish the little shoe now you can use some totally dazzle jewelry on this little shoe. You can dress your little shoe up in so many ways. But I make the little scrappy bow. I'm just going to place it down in the little, the little tongue of the shoe. And this little shoe right here did not have any shoelaces. 
So, but anyway, it was the perfect shoe just for me to, to have fun with. Now I'm going to show you a great way to use your Totally Dazzled Bling, or if you have some vintage top jewelry, just get your, you know, your pearl headed straight pins, and then add a little bit of hot glue to your, to your jewelry, and glue them on to your straight pins. And these make great embellishments to stick in our pin cushions. And I always pick up costume jewelry when I'm at yard sales or thrift stores and I see it out. But I always have a lot of Totally Dazzled jewelry on hand also. And I'm going to leave a link to Totally Dazzled down below. So if you want to go out and get some of their beautiful bling for your projects, I'll have the link for you. Now once I got my straight pins made, now I'm just going to make another little embellishment for my shoe. These little stickers right here, these vintage um, stickers. I'm going to have these linked in my Amazon store, but you get a whole pack of these, and these are fun for your projects. But I, I'm going to I applied her using some school glue to a piece of white poster board, and then I'm going to cut her down using my straight edge cutter. Make sure my edges are peeled on it really good and sealed on, and now I'm just going to poke a hole in it, tie a little string on it, and I'm going to attach it to my shoe. The next silver piece I'm going to show you is a piece I, I just recently purchased at a yard sale. And y'all, look at that. One dollar. I about fell out. This piece right here is absolutely beautiful. And look at the feet on this. It's got some beautiful embossed, um, raised, engraved um, print on it. And for one dollar, that was a no-brainer. I picked it up. So this is a great vessel now that we can add so many things to. But I'm going to give you a few ideas of how you can just add some half spears and some beautiful florals. Another silver item I love to find out in the in the thrift stores or yard sales is these beautiful vintage salt and pepper shakers. I am so drawn to these, but I picked these up and they actually come in a little glass, little basket container, but you can take those out. Use them as little flower frogs. Stick some little florals or dried flowers down in the holes of your salt and pepper shaker and set those out. They, like I say, they make great little vessels for your flowers. While I was creating this video, I did go thrifting a couple of times, and my mission was to look for little silver pieces. I found this the day I went for 50 cents, and look at this great inspirational photo that I saw on Pinterest. Some more silver pieces that are easily found at thrift stores and yard sales. And they, they can be rusty, but are silver utensils. And this is a beautiful cake uh, spatula. And also that one was half of a, I think, a salad server. There's another piece to it. It was broke. But I love setting these out. You know, you can just style these with your other silver pieces. And they add such unique texture and character. Here's another beautiful piece that I picked up at Goodwill, and I think I paid 2 or $3 for it. I'm not sure if I love it because it's a heart or because it has such a beautiful, ornate handle. You can set this out and style this in your bathroom, put some soaps in it, put some of your solo wood flowers in it, just dress it up just about any way you want to. And since it's heart-shaped, we can put it out all year long, but this would absolutely be a beautiful piece to really dress up for Valentine's.
Mechanic Silver Set. It's something that I love to come across, and it is a brush and mirror set. Now, I run across this at a church rummage sale. They bundled it with a lot of other things that I purchased, but y'all, I think I only paid a dollar or two for this whole set. Absolutely love it. I'm going to show you a little DIY of what you can do with the mirror. We don't damage it, but just print out a free printable. I love Vintage Lady, so I just went out and downloaded this one, and I pr printed it out on my regular inkjet printer and just used some regular um, computer paper. Now, I just traced around her the size of my mirror. I cut her out, and now I'll size her down a little bit more because I want her to go inside the mirror and just set down, you know, in that on top of that mirror. Now, to do that, I just traced around to the inside of the rim of the mirror, and then I'm just going to use some double-sided tape is recommended but i couldn't find mine so i'm just going to roll up some tape so I'll make it double-sided and i'm going to put about four pieces on it i'm going to put a piece at the top the bottom and on the sides and then i'm going to apply it on top of the mirror this way when you want to take it off you can and you haven't damaged the mirror but just another great way that you can display these beautiful vintage silver mirrors I find my silver pieces if they have rust I think that is all the better in this tray right here I love the rust on it I love the wear and tear I found this at Goodwill and I think I paid a dollar 99 for it dress it up put some of those beautiful fabric flowers that I made in a previous video and also get out your little baby shoes and your pearls just get out the things that you love styling on your tray and it makes such a great piece that really makes your vintage or just whatever items that you love just makes them pop. Hey, are we having fun yet or what? And if you are, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like the video, and make sure to share it with your friends. Now this next one is going to be round trays. You can find silver trays of all sizes and shapes, but I love these round ones. There's so many things you can do with them. This one was $2.99, and the day I went to Goodwill, the green tags were half off. This one was $8.99. It was a little pricier, but this was a very heavy piece, but I did find two this day, so I was so happy, and I love the ornate detail on it. Here is some ideas of what you can do with those round trays. You can make a beautiful, unique wreath out of them. You can chalk paint the center of them and the outside of them. You can chalk paint them, write something on them, and you can make a beautiful wreath to hang on your door. You can also add some embellishments to them and just set them out. Now this piece right here, there is so many things you can do with it. And I was lucky enough to come across this at the Salvation Army the other day. And this piece right here was only $3. You can take the lid. You can hang these on the wall. You can hang things from them. And you can use the bottom. You can put books in these. There's so many things that you can use this little bottom part with just to corral items and just add a little bit more texture and detail to them. I took my piece, just to give y'all some more ideas. I just turned the lid upside down on the little tray with the legs, and I'm just going to style some things on the top of it. Now I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to fold your little bathroom wash towels. Just lay it flat and then fold your sides in on each other. Then take the ends, tuck one end into the other, and that's all you've got to do. I have used this method to fold my little bath towels like this for many years. It adds such a great little detail to your bathroom, but it's so easy and it's quick.
Here's some more Pinterest inspired ideas to use the bottom part of this silver piece. The next styling tip was Pinterest inspired and I saw how you can, you know, set these up. You can get a little easel and set your trays up or you can take your pieces and stack them on top of each other. And that just adds, you know, some dimension and more texture. So I did that to mine. So now I'm just going to let you see how I staged the pieces that I had. The next piece I thrifted, I was so excited to find it, and I found it at a really good deal. This is a silver bowl with a beautiful ornate top, so you can use the lid for so many things, and you can also use the bottom. I paid $2.99 for it. I'm going to give you some styling tips of how you can use the bottom, and I'm also going to show you some styling tips to use the lid. For the bottom, I just added some beautiful a beautiful rose bouquet that I have linked in my Amazon store and I also paired it with this beautiful beaded garland with the heart and the tassel. This is also listed in my Amazon store. Now I'm going to take the lid and I'm going to show you some ideas on how you can decorate and style with the lid. This is something I saw on Pinterest. You can take a paper clip and glue it to the back of your pieces to either hang them on the wall or to hang them up. Now this is the method I use. I just glued a piece of twine on the back of mine using hot glue and it held really well. So that's what I'm doing with my lid. And now I just put a cute little handkerchief on it and styled it with one of my Vintage Lady postcards. Now the rest of these are going to be Pinterest inspired photos. All of these come from Pinterest, but I just want to give you more ideas of ways that you can use the silver pieces because they make great decor pieces. You can use them for racks, hang them on the wall. This right here would be beautiful to add greenery and I'm showing you this is decorated actually for Christmas. You can get these little silver bowls, turn upside down these little goblets and make a little pedestal riser. This right here was absolutely adorable. You can put hangers on the back of your pieces and you can make a gallery wall of silver pieces. This would make such a grand entrance to your home for when people come over and so affordable. And don't forget those little creamer pieces. Put your cotton balls and your little swabs in them and set them in your bathroom just to add a little bit more texture and detail. This right here is just a silver pedestal stand Put your crystal pieces on it and then add your vintage books and your pearls and your doilies. I love this little butter dish. This, they just put a little bar of soap in it. Just think outside of the box. When you have your silver pieces, they can be used for just about anything. This right here is another idea for the little pin cushions. If you find the little silver goblets, this is a great idea. Make your little pin cushions for these. These would make great little play settings to put on a tablescape. Here's another little idea for a salt and pepper shaker. I thought this one was so cute, wrapped in a doily. Before I end the video, I want to tell y'all some exciting news. I now have a booth at my friend Stevens at Stevens Unique Antiques in Rogersville, Alabama. So if you're local, make sure to stop by Stevens and check out his store. He's got a lot of great vendors and a lot of great 
you know, different kinds of items. My booth is in a, is a work in process, but so far this is what I have. So y'all are now able to purchase a lot of the things that I make or things that I find out at thrift stores that I think, you know, y'all may be interested in. Vintage items, DIY projects, you name it and I'm going to have it. And I also wanted to let y'all know I'm going to leave all of Stephen's information down below. Make sure to contact him if you see something that you are interested in. I will be doing some videos and some lives from the booth showing y'all more of the products up close. But make sure to check out Stephen's store. He will ship. He's very helpful. So if you see something that catches your eye, get in contact with him and he'll be happy to help you. And also, I'm still trying to get the word out that I have a new channel, Teresa Green. Make sure to go over and subscribe to it. There is videos out there weekly on how we are doing on the condo remodel. So make sure you're subscribed to that channel. And also make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Like and share with your friends. As always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.